Hey everybody, quick video about uh, Kira and uh, the little script extension called uh, Posit Height. And I think this has been around for a while and I was looking for some, some information on it and decided I better go ahead and uh, maybe do a video. Uh, so hopefully it's helpful. So um, pausing in height and in, a, in this particular scenario, uh, I wanted to pause in height so that I can do a filament change in a very specific location of my print. Yes, there's lots of ways to do filament changes. You can do it while the print's running. You can use the control feature uh, on your, uh, the change filament feature on your control box. Um, and that's all fine and dandy. If that's what you wanna do, go for it. Um, like I said, I had a very specific place on a print that I wanted to have it done. And I didn't feel like uh, snipping my filament and feeding it down the extruder and kind of hoping and praying that it met in the right spot. Um, so here's what I did. So I've got this little logo that I uh, uh, made for a guy and uh, I wanted to do it in two colors. Uh, I know this thing is four millimeters tall and Kira says it takes about two hours to do it and Kira lies. lies. Um, so I know that about halfway up, a little more than halfway, is where I want the filament uh, change to occur. Um, this base color I'm doing in black and this raised portion I'm doing in white. So I want to make sure that all the base portion is done in black and even even a little bit up in this raised portion is okay. So I know that I'm, you know, it's a little over two millimeters tall to get before it gets to this raised portion. So I'm going to pause about 2.2 millimeters into the print and allow me to go move the print head uh, on its own and uh, sit there and wait for me to go change the filament. And then when you hit the control knob, it just starts all back over again. So here's how you do it. Uh, I'm going to go here to extensions and post processing modify G code. And I've already got a couple here, but I'm going to clear them out. So uh, when you get in here and you want to do this, you're going to say add script and pause at height. You're going to come right over here. So I know I want to pause at 2.2 millimeters. I'm going to move my print head off of my print. I don't want it sitting there uh, cooking the last layer with the nozzle. So I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, 20 off my X and 150 off my Y. That puts the nozzle in a very nice parking spot uh, for me to do what I need to do. Uh, for retraction, I'm gonna go ahead and retract the filament a little bit just to take some of the pressure off the nozzle so it doesn't keep on leaking. Um, I'm gonna leave that retraction speed right where it is, that's fine. And, um, and you know, essentially here I'm good to go. Uh, if I left the rest of this at zeros and close this and saved it to my SD card, I could go print no problem. In fact, this is what I did in the last one. However, after the pause, after you've pulled your old filament out and spun your new filament in there, uh, if you want to do a little extra extrusion to prime the nozzle and make sure all the old stuff is out before the new stuff goes in, this is your opportunity to do that. So uh, just like it's saying, after the pause, how much filament do you want to extrude? So let's just say in this case, I want to extrude 50 millimeters of filament and that should help get all the old black filament out before the white filament starts going. That extrude speed should be just fine. I have no problem with that. Uh, and redo layers. Uh, after you pause, if you want to go back and redo uh, one layer or two layers um, with the new filament, it will go back and do it. I have not had a need to do it. Uh, pausing and restarting uh, at the next layer has not been a problem provided you've got your nozzle properly primed. Um, and this is another slick little portion of it is if you think it's going to be quite a while, let's say you're going to bed or you're going to dinner, it's going to be a few hours before you can actually go do that nozzle or the, sorry, the filament change, then you can throw this thing into standby. And when you do that, <clears throat> let's say, uh, so after the printhead goes and parks, uh, I'm going to put a standby temp of, let's say, 30C on it. And, uh, and then when I hit the button to resume it, it will wait a tick before it heats back up to my print temp, which in this case is 210 before it starts going. <clears throat> so there you have it, super easy. Um, now let's say you had a, a taller print. Let's say it was another four millimeters high or another two millimeters high and you wanted to do another color swap. Well, super easy, add script, pause at height, <clears throat> put in your new values. So again, let's say it's going, uh, I know 2.2. Uh, at 2.2 millimeters, it's going to stop. Uh, so we can go to five or six or whatever, plug in the new values, and you can do the same thing and throw in a third color. Easy peasy. So there you have it. That's how you do it. Save your file, go print it, have some fun, play around with it. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and thanks again.